it certainly was a big win for the GOP that, according to the polls, wasn't supposed to happen. Republican Karen Handel defeating John Ossoff in Georgia's special election in the state's 6th district. That's the one that Newt Gingrich uh, used to hold. Will this latest in a string of Democratic defeats change their political strategy or that of the Republicans? Here now is Buddy Carter, Republican Congressman of Georgia. Uh, Congressman, first of all, are you ever going to believe a poll again? <laughs> well, you have to wonder at the, about the accuracy of these polls. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Karen did exceptionally well yesterday, and we we're just delighted with the outcome. Why did they get it so? I mean, it's your state, you know Georgians. Why did the sure. pollsters get it so wrong? Well, keep in mind, this was a special election. Granted, it was a, a, a unique special election with all the attention that was paid to it, but special elections are wild cards. You never really know what the turnout's going to be, and it's, it, with all due respect to the pollsters, it's difficult to really be accurate on a special it election. It is, but Congressman, this is the fourth time in a row, five if you include the general election where the pollsters right. have been so wrong. I got to ask whether, I know you're a Republican, but uh, your colleagues in the Democratic caucus have not been cooperative, to say the least. They have been obstructionist, I think it's fair to say. Do you think they will perhaps realize now that their obstructionist attitude is not helping them win elections? Well, I hope they do. I mean, this should be a wake-up call to the Democratic Party. They hit us with their best shot here. I mean, when you figure the, the amount of money that they put into this, the amount of effort that they put into it, they've got to, to regroup and, and think about exactly what they're doing. Now, I got to throw a, a, a note to uh, Rush Limbaugh, who, who clued me into something that appeared in Slate magazine that just shows you how clueless a lot of Democrats have been about what is bothering Americans about their country. Americans obviously love their country, and they, they always have and they always will, but there are certain things that are bugged them. This is the first sentence of a piece that ran in Slate. It says, a precinct captain for Democratic candidate John Ossoff's congressional campaign complained recently that many of his constituents are hard to reach because they still live at home with their parents. I mean, <laughs> not realizing that that is exactly the problem. Well, it is a problem, and you know, I mean, it, let's face it, this is a district that the Democrats were really going to be targeting in, in 2018, the type of district. When you think about being suburban, being well-educated, that's the type of district that the Democrats were thinking about. They failed at this, so this should be a wake-up call for them at the very least. Right. Well, you know the blue dog. There aren't many blue dog Democrats. That is conservative, usually southern Democrats, uh, but they're making a bit of a comeback, and 18 of them apparently met last night with Donald Trump's uh, economic team, including the Treasury Secretary. Maybe some of them will come on with tax cuts. What do you think? Well, I hope so, because listen, we need this. Our country needs this. I hope that, I hope that both sides of the aisle will realize just how important this is. We've got to get out of this anemic 1.5% growth rate that we're in. We've got to get up there in the 3 and 4 and 5% growth rate in order to, to get our economy going, in order to yeah. make sure that we can retire this tremendous debt that we have. Well, we've done it before. Congressman Buddy Carter, thank you very much. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Melissa.